Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your own code door. So if we go up to the keypad here and we place in the correct code 2041 and then click the green button, you can see that the door unlocks and we are able to go through it. So let's get right onto the video. All right, so we're in studio and the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and download that code door model linked in the description. Once you have that downloaded, we can go ahead and go to toolbox my models and click that code door model once you have it insert it into workspace you can go ahead and put it wherever you want i already have this wall laid out so i'm gonna go ahead and put the door inside of the hole i already have laid out once you place the door where you want it um everything's pretty much set up and good to go but there are some stuff in the model that i want to explain how to use so if we go inside of the explorer and open the code door you can see that there's a bunch of different things inside of it you have a buttons folder an input folder, a correct code value, door, screen, all these different things. So I'm going to go through each of them. Inside of the buttons folder is basically every single button on that keypad, a handle script that runs it for you, and two input buttons, the clear, which is the red button, and the enter button. You click the enter button to enter a key code, and then you click the clear button if you want to clear whatever code you have currently inputted. Inside of the input folder, is the numbers that the player inputs into the keypad so the first number they put in will go inside of this value the second number inside of this value and so on in the third and fourth value the correct code value is what the actual correct code to unlock the door is there's a script inside of it called generator it's only three lines it just generates a random number from 1000 to 9999 because it can only be a four digit code so once it does that it just sets this value to the code that it generated and let's say you wanted to make like a um a piece of paper that had the correct code on it that the player has to find you would just set the you would insert a surface ui with a text label inside of the part and then you would set the text of that text label to the correct code value so that it will display on the piece of paper anyways that pretty much wraps up today's video it's a quick one but i just wanted to get this model out to you guys so you guys can use it in your games if you enjoyed please consider liking and subscribing on your way out it really helps with the channel and we just broke 3,000 subs i really appreciate it if you have any questions comments or concerns please join the discord server linked in the description or the pinned comment of the video we have great staff and i try to help you with whatever bugs or errors that you have with whatever you're working on that's all for today's video chase your dreams and as always i will see you guys in the next one